Risa Floor utilizes intuitive floor-by-floor -floor model input to design and optimize building systems constructed of composite and non-composite steel, concrete, masonry, wood, and coal form steel. So let's go ahead and start to use the basic modeling tools in Risa Floor to create and view wood building designs. Choose our wood code in the model settings under the wood section. This is how the program determines what equations to use for the code checks. The wood database may be accessed by clicking the Shape Database button on the RISA toolbar and then clicking the Wood tab of the Shape Database dialog. By clicking the triple dots here, I can create a new wood materials for the project and then choose the NDS database. For example, let's look at a GlueLAM member. The program includes five tables of available GlueLAM materials. The values in NDS tables 5B and 5D depend on the number of laminations in the glue lamp. If you have a custom material that is not available from these lists, you can always enter your appropriate design values as a custom wood material for use in your model. Three typical ways to create these custom wood materials in Risa Floor. Option one, we're going to choose the shape selection tool, navigating to the wood tab, create wood material under material selection, by clicking the ellipses. Option two would be to choose the material spreadsheet from our data entry spreadsheets over here on the right. Click the red arrow to open up the select custom material window and then enter in our custom material properties. And then the third option would be to enter custom wood material in the toolbar spreadsheets, choose custom wood species database, and then enter your custom wood properties here. You can see all of my wood materials from existing and custom databases here in the materials spreadsheet. In this spreadsheet, this is also where you can turn on the CM and CI adjustment factors in the program for your wood materials. Back in the model space, I have a model already drafted, but we're going to draw in the second floor bay here of Joyce. So I can choose to model this bay with wood members or wood products. I'm going to choose my wood products to find my APA iJoyce product. Then I can specify my infill beam spacing for this bay and then clicking to apply. The beam spreadsheet records the design parameters for the timber code checks and may be accessed by selecting beams or columns from the data entry toolbar and then clicking in the wood tab. You can set your wood materials on brace lengths and the adjustment factors here. If we open up the column spreadsheet, you will see similar input options for design as well. We have several results spreadsheets available after we solve our model. The design results spreadsheet displays the optimized design results for the beam elements and may be accessed by selecting designs on the results menu. The spreadsheet has several tabs. The wood tab is going to show all of our wood beam members, except for wood joists. Those are shown separately in the wood products tab. The pull down list at the top here of the spreadsheet allows you to toggle between floors. We can review our code checks also for our beams and columns. We can also view detailed results for each member by clicking our detail report and member to open up graphical results or printing reports. At this point, we've established our wood building. I can at this point keep going and maybe clone additional floors to create a taller multi-story wood building. For more information on this topic or other topics, please visit our website, risa.com.